The Link Trainer was a flight simulator used extensively during World War II to train pilots. In 1931, Edward A. Link received a patent for a combination training device for student aviators and entertainment apparatus. It became more commonly known as the Link Trainer after its creator. Link had perfected his design in the basement of his father's piano and organ factory in Binghamton, New York. Mounted on a pedestal, the trainer was powered by organ bellows and a motor. This allowed it to pitch, roll, dive, and climb as the student flew it. Most of the first sales of the trainer were made to amusement parks. Following a series of accidents in 1934, the Army Air Corps bought six Link trainers to assist in training pilots to fly at night and in bad weather conditions, relying only on instruments. The Soviet Union and Japan ordered some before the beginning of World War II. The beginning of World War II saw thousands of orders for Link trainers from the United States military, as well as the military forces of other countries, including Britain, Canada, and Australia. The Link was put to good use training pilots during the British Commonwealth Air Training Plan. As the pilot flew the trainer, an instructor sat at a desk and transmitted radio messages, which the student in the Link heard through earphones. Inside the cockpit, the student relied on instruments to fly the Link through various maneuvers, while the navigational course was traced on a map on the desk by the three-wheeled crab. Slipstream simulators gave the controls the feeling of air passing over control surfaces, and a rough air generator added realism during the flight. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever seen a Link trainer.